Welcome to Maintenance Monday. Today we're working on the bilge. Yep, you can see we've got uh, the whole place pretty much pulled apart and destroyed. She's uh, she's very um, OCD about being clean, so she's a little annoyed right now. Yeah, now I know just how much more dirty this boat is. So <laughs> I'm like, oh my god. So. What we're having, what, what our issue here is, is that we've got a very, very slow, we don't know where the water's coming from. It could be a water tank that's leaking, that's what the, the people that are working on the boat think it might be. Uh, or it could be, you know, just a very slight leak through the stuffing box or the through hole or a through hole or something. It's very slow, it takes a long time to fill up, but the problem is, is that it fills up behind the engine compartment here. And for some reason, there is no bilge pump back there, and there's no direct connect, the bilge pump's up there by the keel, right? So the bilge pumps are, down here. Also, we got super one yummy. there and one there. Super yummy looking. So, oh, watch out for bilge rats. Shut up. Yeah, bilge rats. No, no. That's where they live on down there. No, no. If there's rats on here. You got another route. <laughs> <laughs> Problem is, there's no way for that water to get back over there to get pumped overboard. So what we're gonna do is kind of a temporary fix. This rest, this is a temporary fix. We need to find out exactly how the water's coming in. But like I said, it's very slow, so it's not that big deal. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run another line with a bilge pump from there. Back over there. <laughs> so Laura, I already ran it most of the way through. See if you can grab that. What? Look for the bilge rod. There you go. Got it. So now put that in the bottom, like just put that. In there? Yeah, basically. Gross. But, but you don't want it next, see that right there? That is a float switch. Ooh. And so you don't want to interrupt that. That's going to be an automatic feature. So, so you want, want to put it somewhere, yeah, that'd be fine. So what I've got here is an automatic bilge pump. Um, and we are going to put that underneath the engine compartment there and hook it to this hose that uh, Laura has just run through and wire it into the panel. I can't stress enough how important it is to wire things into the panel. Don't run it directly to a battery. Number one, it's, it's a fire hazard. Number two, it just cleans things up. It's easier to work on down the line because you know, some of these, this is an older boat, but the electrical panels are replaced, so all the electrical lines are nice and neat. Let me show you, it's pretty awesome. So this is our electrical panel. Brand new, looks nice and neat, it's awesome. Uh, and then you come in here, this is everything behind it. Now, it's really nice because this isn't too hacked into. I've run a couple extra lines to it here for our LED lights, and I've got those into a switch, but let me show you what these are here. So these are your breakers right here. This are your, these are your hot buses. So these are powered by 12 volt DC. So you got a bus there and it hops over to the next bus. That one's connected to that bus. And so what happens is, is these breaker switches right here, when you turn this switch off and on, it runs power from the bus to through the breaker to the out, output terminal. And that's where you connect your line to whatever feature you're running. And over here is your negative terminal, your grounding terminal. And so you run a line to each one, and there you go, you have power. And you're automatically you know, connected by, these are almost all five amp fuses right through here. And um, so you're protected, you're, uh, so you don't catch fire, you don't blow anything up. So it's important to run everything through that. So now Laura is actually kind of securing the wires down there so they don't move around so much and kind of zip tie them all together. She's good at contortioning down there. But other than that, we're ready. We're pretty much ready to go. So we'll kind of follow from the end of the system back forward, and we'll show you how it's all done. All right. So this is our new hosing. We ran up here to the forward bilge. It goes underneath the floorboards all the way up here, past the battery bank compartment, and into the engine compartment. Laura, would you be so kind as to shine a flashlight? Okay. And so you can see the water is under there and we have our punch pump submerged. Now there's two, two um, lines come out here. There's a blue, uh, a brown line and a brown and white line. It depends on your pump. Um, this pump, we wanted to get an automatic function. It's a little bit more expensive than a manual pump, but it comes on automatically. You don't have to worry about it. I've got this wired to the automatic side. You can wire it to all three sides. I've just got it running through the breaker where we can turn it on and off and automatic. Um, and then the wiring ran back underneath the floorboards up through under there and up into the electrical panel coming in from this side all right Let me pull that through a little more and so then this wire goes to the back of one of our spare breakers which I were labeled and the other side goes to the 
grounding bus, the negative bus, and we're good to go. So now let's let's give it a shot. What do you think? Ready? Turn it on. Hit the button. All right. Okay, so I haven't changed the label yet, but it's this one right here. It says spare. I'll change that to say ox bilge pump. I'm not sure. I'll turn it on. And I hear it running. It's running down in there. It totally, we got and activity. We got water coming into here. So that other float pump is on and should be. A double pump? It's a double pump. Double pumping. <laughs> okay, so the automatic function has shut off on the bilge and you can see all that bilge water is gone. Kind of nice. So we'll have a nice clean bilge back there from now on. Uh, pumps the water forward here. And this tank is already empty, so we're good to go. So what do you think, Laura? I like it. The bilge rats terrify you? No, but I'm glad that there's no water next to the engine. That seems a little bit more safer now. <laughs> So leave us a comment down below what you think of the fix there. I know it's temporary. A lot of you guys, hey guys, I, I, I don't pretend to know everything on a boat. I know very little about the boats actually. So we're just doing the best we can here. Let it, leave us a comment below. Let me know what you think of the fix there. Was it a good idea, bad idea? How can we improve and all that? So thank you guys.